All right, welcome back to Island Life Live. I love that song. It's called Island to Island, and that's the journey that the Kyuke Kaiko Mahine, our cute little girl, Lea, takes on in a book series entitled Living Aloha. Now, joining us on the couch is the author and creator of the eight book series, Tasia Milani. Roberts. What an intro. Thank I know. you, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> I know her as Tasia Worley. You probably do too, you know, because she looks very familiar. She was actually uh, our, our, our KITV Good Morning Hawaii weather and traffic person. <laughs> and you, you kind of tagged me bathroom in. Bathroom cleaner, <laughs> wall painter. I'm just everything. <laughs> she did everything over here. And you kind of tagged me in, and that's how I got my start here. Uh, so I call her Kumu. Oh, and, thank and, you. And, and now you're an author. This is so amazing. Well, you do not a whole bunch of, bunch of stuff. But let's talk about the uh, the series that you, uh, the book series that you have. Tell us about Live Aloha. So, um, Living Aloha is a children's book series about a girl named Lea, born on the island of Maui, and she's looking for aloha. She thinks it's a tangible object, but her and readers are going to be a little surprised as she finds out not only does she have to go through the island of Maui to find aloha, she has to go to all eight islands. Ooh. So, that's why there are eight books. Every book is a different island, and you can see the island color, the flowers. I put a lot of thought into it because it's been 14 years in the making. Wow, and of course, Kamehameha School, so you know all this, the history of the different islands and the different colors and stuff. So, wow, that's, that is amazing. I love everything about this book series. And the thing that I like is, you know, one of the, the ways that our keiki learn is through rhythmic speech, like nursery rhymes. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how you kind of tell the stories in these books, right? That's right. So it is an e-book series. So I brought my iPad. Um, just a little something like, was Aloha hidden under a rock? Is it in the kukui nut up a tree? Was Aloha hiding on a high mountain or was it deep in the sea? So it's like that throughout the entire book. And you can see in the corner, we have some Hawaiian words mm -hmm. with the meaning. And then if you press the button, you can hear the Aloha Vai'i. You can oh. hear how it's spoken. And I just hope that it catches on as much as it can. Not only for keiki, but also adults. You know? I love it. It's, and especially so you have this, the digital series, because nowadays, it, you know, sometimes it's it uh, can be challenging to keep the, the attention of our keiki. So I like this. This is interactive, right? That's right. So my inspirations have always been my siblings. Now I have a niece, nephews, a seven-year-old at home, and they are always on their iPad. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, you know, when you read either way through a physical book or if you're just reading with your keiki, you're building that connection that you can't get through anything else. So why not make it easier for them? Give them or bring the story to life through voice narration. Let them hear, again, the Olelo Hawaii. Beautiful illustrations in the book by Daisy Daniels, <laughs> <laughs> if that sounds familiar. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely sounds familiar to you. That, that's my baby. That's my daughter. <laughs> yes. And these are some of the, the illustrations that uh, Daisy put together. So, I mean, you know, I like, I'm her dad, so I'm, I'm super proud. No, and she's the best. Like, uh, Chanel Kanekoa came up with the concept. Daisy Daniels brought it to life. And I had this vision in my, in my brain from 14 years ago. And when Daisy put pen to paper, it came to life. And I just know that everything is divinely timed correctly. And I'm, I'm just so happy to go on this journey with the people who are helping me do this, mm -hmm. friends like you that believe in me, and then now I get to connect with these readers. I have people from Germany and Canada emailing wow. me about downloading the books, and I'm just so overwhelmed and so thankful. Speaking of downloading the books, you actually are offering the first book for free. That's right. Talk, so, about, talk about that. <laughs> children's book Hawaii, children's books Hawaii com, and then you just click on the first book, download, and it's right there. You download it to either your, what is it, your Apple or your Android, mm -hmm. and it should pop up. Um, or you can email me if you're having trouble. But yeah, it's super easy. That way I could reach more people quicker and, you know, they can share it easier as well. And if, if you miss hearing Tasia's voice, you actually are the one that narrates the book, right? I am. <laughs> guilty. <laughs> so that's so awesome. So uh, so again, where can people get the book? If Is it only uh, digital or can they go into like a... It's like only Mama's digital right now and I want to go on this journey with readers. So I did make every book after today. So every first Aloha Friday of the month, the next book will be available. So oh. our next book is La Na'i next month. Oh, nice. Thank you yep. for taking us down that Huaka'i to the different <laughs> islands here on the Pai'aina. Uh, Tasia Roberts, I I gotta get used oh, to I that. I gotta have you narrate my book. Oh, <clears throat> of course I would do that. Any one of us, get Lina Girl, get Mele Apano, we can totally do that for you, Teja. Now, when I started here, I always said there are two wahine in the news business that can do it all. Traffic, weather, writing, reporting, producing, and that would be you. Mm -hmm. And of course, Leu'i. 